Nina, 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 Welcome, 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 welcome to Chump, everybody. The Rooster Chief Game Show, all about lying and deception. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley, and this is the penultimate episode of Chump. We have two episodes remaining, uh, and this is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Protect your online identity today by heading to expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Uh, this being the second to last episode, we wanted to make sure it was a good one, so we got quite a cast of characters for today's episode. So let's introduce the deceivers. Starting with deceiver number one, Alec Agabon joins us once again. This is supposed to be a good one. Whoa, look how oh, cool goodness. he's playing it. We are also joined by deceiver number two, Chad James is back once again. Hey. Hey. And returning for this episode, Deceiver number three, Kai Cook is here. Welcome, Kai. Uh, Ooh, don't say what is that? Don't say is that a I is that a thing the kids do now? That's game face. <laughs> only, only two people can sort out whether or not these three are telling the truth or telling a lie. The first being today's contestant, Mr. Jack Patillo, returns once again. <laughs> To keep his winning streak alive. Oh my god. I'm so sick right now. Jack. I'm so sick Jack's right now. I'm not feeling well today. <laughs> Poor yeah. Jack. I, for, I, I, I forgot. I forgot that I agreed to do this and then got a message yesterday and I was like, oh shit, that's right. I'm supposed to be checked <laughs> tomorrow. And then, and then you said you typed uh, an email to send to me I, and go, wrote, hey. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I, I wrote an email basically saying, like, hey, I probably shouldn't be on the show today because I feel like garbage. And I just never sent it. So that's my fault. And I was like, I'm not going to put you guys in a bind like that. So this will be interesting. Good Should guy, Jack. I was supposed to be on True. vacation. Uh, oh. yeah, I'm just uh, really, really? out here. But then, like, yeah. And then Jeremy came out of the rain in a trench coat. And he's like, Alec, we need you. We need you in this hour. Some of that is wrong. That's a lie. <laughs> Did the trench coat fit? I only I figured the trench coat covered half his body. Where was his head? If he was the you know he had a he had a detective hat on too oh. and he was smoking a cigar. Oh, okay. He was no, standing on top of the Muppet. shoulders. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was me. I, I was on the shoulders. Right. We, we wanted to go see an R-rated movie after it. So that was, yeah. that was the only Without way that we were gonna asked. get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without also, getting Jeremy farted. <laughs> Jeremy, you hyped up this intro like we got a it's a pen and ultimate episode. We got a great cast of people. It's gonna be awesome. And Jack's like, I didn't even know. I forgot I was supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You drag me out of it right now, man. Better. I don't have COVID, but I have something called RSV, which apparently is a nightmare for uh, uh, for people. So. Well, tell us, are you how are you? How's yeah. your living nightmare going? So right now, my throat when I swallow, it feels like it's doing this. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Like basically, my throat is like swollen up, and so like when I swallow, it like grinds against itself, which is fun. But this, Jack, mm. might put you in the right mindset to determine who's lying and who's telling the truth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true. That is true. The last that time you were on, it. you got you you nailed it. The, well, the last time you were on as well, a contestant. I would say last time I was on, I got swept by Gavin. Uh, yeah, he mm -hmm. came in and shut me down. The only time I've ever competed as a as a deceiver. Oh well, yeah, the last time before that, when I was last time I was contesting, I I went I did a clean clean sheet. Again, oh, me, it's over. Lose. That's not happening again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No. The rematch. I'm not saying you have to lose lose because like the, that could be the audience, but you're not beating me is what I am saying. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. I thought all we were right. in this together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, audience. sorry. Would, I, I'm gonna I beat the, I'm gonna beat the crap here. out of Chad and Alec, but not Kyle. Yeah, when I just not me, not at all. Too <laughs> competitive for that. All right, well, let's get things rolling into the lies and the storytelling as we jump into our first game, which is called Pushing the Envelope. You're an envelope. How dare you, Jack? How dare, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to host a show. It's going away. Uh, I have three envelopes. <laughs> Each one has a true fact about one of our three deceivers in it. I'm going to shuffle them up and redistribute those facts. So they might get their own. They might get someone else's. Whichever fact they get, Jack is going to question them for 60 seconds about that fact. If it's theirs, they're going to answer those questions truthfully. If it's not, they're going to lie and try to get Jack to think that that fact is about them. Audience, you work a little differently, but we'll get into that after we hand out the facts. So let's do that. Starting with Alec. The hmm. true fact about Alec is Alec participated in robot competitions. Participated in robot competitions. <laughs> the true fact about Chad is Chad 
has woken up during surgery. Chad has woken up during surgery. The true fact about yeah. Kai is that Kai accidentally made someone lecture a suit of armor. Accidentally wait, wait. made. <laughs> <laughs> That one really threw Jack for a loop. Accidentally <laughs> made someone lecture a suit of armor. Hmm. Lecture right, a suit of <laughs> I read all those words correctly. I said what um, I said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was phrased that way for a reason. Um, audience, you work a bit differently here. You're voting on one of those facts in particular, and that is who participated in robot competitions. Uh, so Alec is claiming this story is about him. Uh, after you hear all the stories being told, you can vote on if you think this is about Alec, if it's about Chad, or if it's about Kai. You can use those handy buttons that pop up for you. Uh, Jack, you get 60 seconds to each person. Who do you want to start with? Uh, can we just skip to the end where I get them all wrong? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Save a lot of time. Now I'm, now I'm rooting for Jack because I feel Throw bad. <laughs> no, no, these are... We'll, 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 we'll work our way down the line. I'll start with Alec today and his okay, robot competition. Alec. All right, yeah. so audience, you want to pay extra close attention to this one. It's the story you are voting on. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Alec, what were these robot competitions you were competing in? It was actually in college. With the <clears throat> Like, I didn't build the robots myself. I was actually helping the robotics team at my school because they needed extra people to be pilots so they could train for, like, their national competitions. So you were a robot, you were a robot pilot, but you didn't build the robots. No, I didn't build them myself. No. Uh, okay. It was well, what sort of, like, what sort like of a, remote did he use then for to control these things? They were these like custom built like RC things that seemed to be like, as you imagine, a college kid would try to put together a remote for a robot. Okay. Okay. How many, how many, how many times did you, did you pilot a robot? It was about just like three. Uh, it wasn't yeah. too many times, but it was pretty fun, yeah. Can you name the other colleges you played against? Or you, com you competed against? I didn't compete against them. Uh, my college's team competed against them. I, I was like practice opponents for my college. Alec, did you ever go to college? Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. Man, actually, that was after the time. Strike that from the record. Strike that. You didn't. Right. You didn't. Mm -mm, you didn't cut it. Has, you need to has nothing mm. to do with robots. This is already setting a precedent. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm calling cheats. Referee. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear anything right now. No. So, <laughs> <laughs> Alec might be a robot. Also, let's That's point true. that out there. We really don't know yet. Um. <laughs> Jack, do you want to continue going down the line or do you want to jump over to Kai? Now we'll go ahead and go over to Mr. Chadley. All right, Chad, who woke up sure. during surgery. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock to question Chad. Ready, get set, go. Chad, how many surgeries have, I ha have you had in your life? Uh, counting the moment I was a baby, three. How many times have you been like put unconscious for a surgery? Uh, also counting that, three. Oh, All I guess, sorry, times. it would be four. Okay. I, I left out my vasectomy, sorry. <laughs> but okay, three, three, okay. three put under, four not. <laughs> okay. So, the fourth so. one not, sorry, I'm mathing bad. Anyway, well, which surgery did you wake up from? Uh, it was actually two, both of my, oh, both of my oral surgeries. Uh, so, wait, I'm, why am I giving you more? It was oral surgery. <laughs> so uh, well, why, how did you wake up during your oral, oral surgery? Uh, and what so kind of I oral have surgery was it? Yeah, I have this horrible ginger gene, uh, which makes anesthesia not work nearly as well on me. This is a real thing. Uh, that that and is so a it real thing for what it's worth. Because yeah. it will cause me to wake up during surgery. Okay, so w which which oral surgery did you wake up from? Uh, two, so I had a teeth extraction, and then also my wisdom teeth being removed. Okay, so Oof. both dental things. Okay. All right. See, mm, woke up. Chad, you, you son of a bitch. That's... I know I some of that's partially true. The redhead surgery. thing is a true thing because I have that too. So, ah, oh. mm. redhead. Oh, the redhead gene. Yep, you know yeah. what? Thank God I'm not a redhead then. Uh, the chat. Right, the chat Chad is speculating hey, so hard right now, and I screw I them am over a redhead, time, right? So. <laughs> yeah. There you exactly. go. Look at that. Um, How you got that, that redhead gene? 
Definitely. Somewhere, you know, I could get some dye and make it red easy. Yeah. That's, that's a jean. <laughs> yeah. hey, I can wear, I can wear some jeans too. I don't know why you're talking saying, yeah. about my fashion style here. Yeah. She could get some red jeans. jeans. That's fine. Splicing. Exactly. <laughs> um, now that leaves Kai. That leaves the prompt here. Kai, who accidentally made someone lecture a suit of armor. Uh, Jack, you have sixty seconds to question Kai about this. 60 seconds on the clock, ready, get set, go. Kai, what? <laughs> Minecraft, Jack, it was Minecraft. Oh. Accidentally lecture a suit of armor. What does that yeah. even mean? So you know how in Minecraft you can do like the armor stands? So uh -huh. I had, you know, played a prank on a friend. They got upset with me and then they went to my house in Minecraft and thought they were lecturing me and said they were lecturing my armor stand because I just have I like to show off my armor. <laughs> Why? Why was someone lecturing you? Because I played a prank on them. Like I did a whole bunch of snow golems in like their fancy room in Minecraft, something they worked on a while and they were upset that there was snow everywhere. But how long have you been playing Minecraft? About three months. I've started playing it this... so I could get used to playing it with you all. And when did this happen? I would say about two months ago before my friend went to Guam because it was on his server. Ooh. You got a Guam <laughs> fact at the end there. Guam. <laughs> that whole thing was Jack just trying yeah, to comprehend I mean, the sentence. Not, not to get more information after the time period, but my friend is works in the army, so he had to, he was shipped off to Guam a while ago, just got back, but he we played on his server, so that's where this happened. Hi, this is all additional info. You don't have to give any of this. I'm not wow. lying, so I'll give it. <laughs> Strike it from the record. Strike it from the record. All right. Uh, audience, remember you're voting on who participated in robot competitions. Last chance to change those answers now if you want want to jack now we get to uh go to you before we get final answers how are you feeling uh just i feel, mentally. I feel terrible terrible jeremy yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not good <laughs> um dude i'm at such a loss right now like i mean i kai was able to explain the sentence accidentally lecture a suit of armor so yeah. I'll, I'll give her credit there uh <laughs> Chad made some good points. Alec is, I'm not sure. Yeah. We had a feeling that would be the case with anything. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I've got some I'm ideas. I've got you, some Jack. ideas. Okay. I want you to win. Look at that. Thank Look at the deceivers all rooting for Jack here. Who uh, said, audience. There, excuse me? Rooting for oh, Jack? Oh, never mind, Kai. There, and then there's also Kai. Okay. <laughs> Kai, I don't, I don't do the sick. Win. I don't do the sick thing. Like, that's cool. I wish you do. I hope you do better than the audience, but not me. Right. <laughs> no sympathy. <laughs> All right, audience, we're locking in your answer for game number one. Thank you very much for uh, playing the first game here. And then, Jack, we're going to go down the line from Alec to Chad to Kai and just hear from you if you think they're telling the truth or telling a lie. So let's start with Alec, who Jeremy, uh, participated in Robot. For you. Yes, yes, Jack. Yes, in the back. Um, yep. Thank you. Yep. Um, how many times have you had it where everyone was telling the truth? Like, how many times has uh, that more happened? Than you, that? More than you think, actually. It's, yeah, yeah uh, it, it, probably almost 10 times. Maybe not 10, but it's up there. It happens It happens <laughs> quite often. Is that, that could happen now? That could be what's happening. All right, Jack, we got to start with Alec. Participated in robot competitions. Is Alec Man. telling the truth or is Alec telling a lie? This sucks. I want you this to know. Sucks. <laughs> this sucks. I'm sorry to like, be in your position. Alec gave me like very little for, for throwing out there the fact it's like, oh, I didn't build the robots, but I was I was I piloting them, which mm -hmm. I, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You figured someone who would want to un know how to like control the robots would be someone who help like make them. But then, I, then the I'd question want is, to build the robots. I'm not smart enough for that sort of thing. But then the question is. <laughs> No, he's lying. He's the, he's a liar. He's a dirty liar. Lock it in. He's lying. <laughs> All right, let's lock in Alec as a dirty liar. Jack's words, not mine. Um, on to Chad. Chad, who has woken up during surgery. Do you think Chad is telling the truth or Chad is telling a lie? See, the 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 key about this game and about like being able to lie to people is you sprinkle in some truths along with the bullshit mm -hmm. and and the the, the, the redheaded gene. 
the redhead gene is 100 percent a real thing anytime i go to the dentist they have to like double dose me otherwise i'm going to feel it every single time but i I think he he was he was getting mixed up with numbers and stuff and i think he i think he got in over his head and got a little mixed up and confused i'm gonna say chad was also lying you want to lock that in let's lock in chad i'm tricky i'm tricky all right all right I think uh, like I told you I would never <laughs> lie to you. Oh, you're going to be in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the guy um, who was <laughs> accidentally made someone lecture a suit of armor. Uh, is this story about Kai true or is no, this so you lie? phrase it as accidentally lecture a suit of armor, which you never said made someone lecture a suit of armor. That's different. And the fact that Kai was able to explain what the hell that meant I, I don't I can't imagine anyone else pulling off. So I think Kai is actually telling the truth, believe it or not. Do you want to lock, lock that in. in? Let's lock in Kai as telling the truth. So we have a lie, lie, truth. Kai would never Kai would never lie to me. She's not that person. Uh, it's in my name so, on Among Us. Kai don't lie. Kai don't lie. Uh let's see. It looks like Master Cheese Halo there is kind of agreeing here with Jack, believing Kai and that Chad and Alec are swapped. Uh, but let's see how the audience voted. Who participated in robot competitions? Did you believe Alec? Or do you think it's Chad? Or do you think it's Kai? Let's see your votes. They believe oh, Alec, 44%. Believe that. Interesting. Wow. That was actually pretty close. This episode of Trump is brought to you by DoorDash. It's the end of the day. You want dinner and you want it fast. And you want it without leaving the house. That's a lot of things to want, but it's doable. I mean, it's kind of contradictory, right? Not leave the house, get it fast, all these different things. They, they, they conflict with each other. Well, there's a solution, and that's DoorDash. DoorDash connects you to the restaurants that you love, and now you can uh, get grocery items from DoorDash as well. You can get drinks, snacks, and household essentials in under an hour. I use DoorDash all the time, especially when I'm doing shows like Chump or if I'm doing streams or anything like that. Uh, I know I won't be done until a certain time, so I can order some DoorDash. I can set it to deliver when I know I'm going to be done. So as soon as I finish, it's waiting at my door for me, and I get little updates on my phone letting me know that food's on its way and that the food has arrived. Ordering is easy. You just open the DoorDash app. You pick what you want from where you want, and it will be left at your door with their contact-free delivery service. For a limited time, Our viewers can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code CHUMP2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code CHUMP2021. Don't forget, that's code CHUMP2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Thank you very much, DoorDash. And now, back to the episode. Yeah, it's Kai, Kai with over 30%, Chad. Chad with a 26. So it's actually pretty close all around. Yeah, uh, about a third each, but Alec eking up toward that 50%. So the audience has gone with Alec. Uh, and now it's time to go down the line and see. Starting with Alec, we need to find out if he was telling the truth. Did Alec participate in robot competitions? You think he's telling a lie? I can reveal Alec. Is telling a lie. Correct, Jack. Well done. You got that one nice. right. All right. There we go. Very there you well go, Jack. done. Oh. That means audience, no points for you. No points for you, audience. <laughs> that was the late buzzer there. That was the buzzer alerting the audience. Very nice. Very, right. very nice. Jack. On to Chat. Chat, who has woken up during surgery. You thought Chad was telling a lie. I could reveal Chad was telling the truth that is true oh. about Chad. I told you Chad I wouldn't lie to you, Jack. Does have the gene. So, so yeah. I, and that means that Kai accidentally... <laughs> accident, let me read this again. Ax, where is it? Where's the stupid thing? Accidentally lecture a suit of armor. Yeah, accidentally <laughs> made someone lecture a suit of armor. Um, so you said Kai was telling the truth. Uh Kai was telling a lie. That was a lie from Kai, but a very believable lie with the Minecraft armor. Dang. Uh, Which means, Jack, you got one correct, which means that the deceivers get one point for that round, uh, and audience gets no points. So at the end of that game, where everyone could get two points, the deceivers get one, 
Whereas the contestant and the audience are both still at zip. Yeah, if Jack got none right, the deceivers would get two points. That's how the scoring works. That's how it's always worked. Um, <laughs> so we'll talk about this more in the post show, but Alec is the one with the suit of armor thing. Not only that, but I think in the original thing, it was samurai armor. Yeah, it's samurai armor. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was good times. What do you do with that? <laughs> like, yeah. What do you yeah. do with it? Kai did. Kai did. Bravo, Kai. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, that's easy. I, I was easy. I got him. You. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I have to double wrong? check. <laughs> to double check the email like this is this is alex one right uh so, so we'll hear more about that chad was telling the truth woke up during the uh oral surgeries he was telling us about that gene before we started the show here and kai is the one who participated in robots competitions so we're gonna hear all about those stories in our post show chump change for first members so make sure to check that one out if you are a first member all right check it out. it's still a close game but the deceivers are currently in the lead that can all still change around as we go into our second game, which is called what's in your house. In this game, I will go down the line of deceivers from Alex to Chad to Kai and just get a one sentence description of a bizarre item they have in their house. However, only one of them is telling the truth. The other two are making up items that do not exist to try to fool Jack. Jack will then question each of them up to my discretion. I'll tell him when to move on to the next person about those items, where they came from, what they look like, different things like that, to try to figure out who has the real item. Uh, audience, you are going to work basically the same way. You're going to vote on who has the real item. But first, you need to get these one-sentence descriptions. So starting with Alec, Alec, what is in your house? I have a coat rack that has breasts and underwear. <laughs> It's a coat. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, just leave it there. Just leave it there. A coat rack with breasts and underwear. <laughs> Jack's uh, just shaking his head. <laughs> uh, I quit. Chad, I'm what done. is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alec has that way with people. Uh, yeah. um, I have an autographed movie poster uh, of the Karate Kid Part 3. An autographed Karate Kid Part 3 movie poster. And Kai, what is in your house? I have an award L plaque. Like an L. award L. Like the an L. award L plaque. Mm -hmm. All right. An award L plaque. So, Jack, there are your three items. Uh, audience, you're voting on who has the real item here. Uh, the plaque, the poster, or the rack. Uh, that so is your, that's your options. Yes, uh, in the back. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, they, they, they are supposed to have this prop near them, right? right now yes i'm assuming yes okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh so that it can be revealed yep that that okay. is the plan uh i think they i think they know that i don't know if we've reminded them or not but yeah, yeah i sure got it, it right here don't worry yeah, it's right oh, here. oh awesome well, oh, it's right, there i can all see right. it from here <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> you can't read alec i can't like you, can't, you don't know what he's doing yeah all right <laughs> Um, Jack, who do you want to start with here? Uh, we'll start with Chad. All right, all right him, start with Chad. Just to knock him out right now. Autographed uh, Karate Kid Part 3 poster. So, Jack, there's no time limit here, so whenever you're ready, begin your questioning. All right, Chad, describe the poster for me, would you? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, it's got... Uh... Uh, the, why am I blanking, blanking on his name? Daniel LaRusso, thank you. Uh, is looking uh, like straight at... Uh, the camera and then Mr. Miyagi's face is down there off on the side. And then above his head is like the uh, it's like them fighting on like a mountain or something like that behind us or in front okay. of a sunset. This is like a movie poster you'd see like up on a movie like thing. Yeah, it's right? like, like as the one that has like the it's title. It's not like the size of a building, building. Like, like standard, like original, like movie poster you would see like as you walk past. But it's the got credits and everything at the bottom of it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Who is the executive producer of that movie? Cool. Hold on. Am I? This is like. Do I have to go in and read this? Yep. My Columbia Pictures. It's small text. <laughs> it's really yeah. small, dude. <laughs> it's a Jeffrey Winterhall production. Is that good? <laughs> John D. Allen's in film. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sheldon Schrager's on here. I can't read the damn executive producers. Well, look, it's going to be close to the top, probably like one of the first ones. No, at the top, at the top, it says Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita. Well, no, first I mean, it was teacher the... to student, then it was father to son. Now it's man to man. There you go. <laughs> Jack, any other questions? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. All All right. Oh, my God. Okay, that's next. cool. Fine. I got a reason. All right. Read the poster. <laughs> uh, Jack, who would you like to go to next? I guess we'll work our way over to uh, Miss Kai. All right. The L plaque from Kai. Uh, Jack, whenever you're ready, begin your questioning. Kai, what color is this plaque you have? It's brown with like gold border. So it's like a plaque that you get when you get an award. Okay. So what, is this an L plaque? What exactly is that for? So it says L and then hold that. Specifically spelled D-A-T, hold that. Like you hold that L. You hold that L. So what? What? Mm -hmm. why did you receive this? So I didn't receive it. It was more like, so my friend had just gotten the Switch when it had came out and we were always playing like the one, two Switch games. And you mm -hmm. know, when you lose, you take that fat L. So me and my friend said, what if we actually get it when someone lose, we give them a plaque that says, hey, hold that. And they have to hold that L plaque when they lose a game. And did they did they make this themselves or did they get this commissioned by someone? We got it like done online with one of those regular, regular award um, sites, like websites. We were just like, regular, it's like when you says enter text. You're missing the point. It's like when you say enter text here <laughs> on the plaque. Like we just got a regular plaque. It says enter text here. And then we put instead of, you know, saying like, oh, great sportsmanship or good effort. We put L. Hold that. It's simple. As okay. That. <laughs> okay. Hold and that it's, it's solid gold. Absolutely not. I was a college student when we got this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Solid all right, gold. all right. How much is away? It's not heavy at all. I could, it's, it's, I would say like a newborn baby, like because I, I hold it like this, like I, I carry it close to my chest. When when I hold that plaque, it's very close to my chest. I hold it dear, near and dear. Oh How gosh. much do you think a newborn baby weighs, Kai? <laughs> Is it like eight ounces? That's how they are when they come out, right? No, that's a scale. This has become an entirely different game now. Pounds, 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 no, a that's small. I don't know. So ounces was in my I lied. It's a lot lighter than an eight pounds baby. An eight pound baby. I was thinking ounces in my head. I'm sorry. I, that you no know what? That was a lie. That part right there, I can admit that was a lie. The rest of it is not a lie. You're killing him. You're killing the man. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I, that's it. I hold it like a baby. So I thought right, of a before baby. Before we lose Jack. I'm stopping oh it God. there before we lose Jack. <laughs> right. Jack I'm man. so sorry. Yeah, the, this game is just going right. to kill him before the episode's over. Uh -oh. I'm just impressed that Kai, you managed to answer a weight question with something that varies widely in weight. Like, <laughs> guess, doesn't it range from like seven to like nine pounds? Like, am I dumb? There's like 12, 16 pound babies. That's he gets wild. Pounds, baby? yes. Oh, absolutely not. I'm so absolutely. I want to be a mom one day. Y'all got, y'all, this is it. I'm, that's it. Yeah. Yo, yo, that's no, right. This is the end of this. End of the bloodline. That's it. No. <laughs> you never know who's popping out. Uh, and that, all right, that leaves, <laughs> oh my god. All right, we got all right. That leaves Alec uh with the rack rack over here. So rack uh, rack. Oh. <laughs> you can take that one, Alec. Uh all right, Jack. That. Whenever you're ready, begin your questioning to Alec here. Uh, Alec, why? Is my well, question. it's actually not mine. I'm visiting my mother, and so it's hers. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the way I almost spit take, you gotta stop, Alec, uh, please. Follow up question. <laughs> I have a follow up question at why? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I was actually with her when she bought it. It was at uh, one of those, like, uh, God, what are the words? Or, where you buy old people's junk. Goodwill thrift kind of store? place, but not yeah, a thrift store. That's junk? the word. It was at a thrift. It was at a thrift store. There was actually a male and a female one, but then she just wanted the the, the lady one because the male one was less tasteful. 
<laughs> so it's a coat rack that has yeah. boobs and underwear. And, yeah, it does. I mean, when I think of coat rack, I just think of metal pole. Like, how how do yeah, those come into think, play? Uh, they shaped it into there. You know, metal it bends. <laughs> Crafting people make fun things in California. So it has underwear. Yeah, it's got underwear on it. <laughs> so how? What? So is it actual like literal underwear, or is it like no, just it's metal? Like metal underwear. <laughs> so it's solid. Solid metal underwear. Yeah. <laughs> like a chastity belt of some nature. <laughs> Actually, kinda yeah. When you see it. It's going to look kind of like a chastity belt. <laughs> what would you, what would you say the What would you say the cup size is of the breasts? Oh, uh, a <laughs> They're not they're not like They're not huge. They're taste only size little breasts. <laughs> We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Alec was so uncomfortably unsure about that question. Right. Hey, I oh, measure man. them like right. to go to I the store. Even... Like, hey, what cup size oh. do you think these are? Oh, you need to get <laughs> okay. All right. Cry. I'm cry. It's not mine. Get your vote. You can get your votes in now if you want. <laughs> Uh, whatever you want to do, audience. All right, oh Jack. My God. So I want heard... Alex to be real so much just so I can see this thing he's describing. I don't think it is though. <laughs> so, uh, what are you thinking going into this after hearing all of those descriptions? I mean, Chad, I, I tried. I tried throwing Chad for a loop because if he actually had the thing, he would be able to answer the question. And I will mm. say he did look at it and it, it very much reminds me of what the Karate Kid 3 poster, like he was describing what I thought the Karate Kid 3 poster looked like. Unless maybe he has like a VHS tape of it and he was bullshitting me and was just reading off a tape or something. Yeah, I but, taped a VHS um, tape right here. <laughs> you have a VHS tape right there? No, it was uh, That's true. <laughs> you, I don't know. This is the, the, the whole point of the game. Anyway, um, He's not gay. Kai, I think Kai had me going until she her eight ounce baby. Then I was like, all right, she's gone. <laughs> like the anytime you, numbers you, come into play, you start you start asking about numbers and people getting mixed up. They no, my brain doesn't English. Be, don't do that to me. So I asked. think I and Jack, I think, how that worked for think, you uh, the last time when you asked me numbers. <laughs> that's true, English. That's true. <laughs> Um, so I think Kai threw her, threw herself off there and this uh, with Alec, Alec, it's such a, a toss up. It could hundred percent be true. It could all be fake. I don't know, but I love you, Kai. I don't think it's Kai and I'm leaning towards Chad right now. All right. So, uh, audience, we're going to lock in your answer on who has the real item. Best of luck to you. You get a point on the line here, uh, and, and you need it as we go into that final game. Jack, we need a final answer from you. So of all the items we've heard about, who has the real item here? Real quick, Chad, how yep. many monitors do you have by chance? Like how many computer monitors do you have? I have two. Okay. Ooh. Damn it. Because he, he could have <laughs> Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Google's a powerful tool. I know. <laughs> what do you, and things what do are not true. That, would he do that though? I don't know. All right, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Chad has the freaking poster. <laughs> do I, you want to lock that's, 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 in? I was lock it in. I I I wanted I wanted to be wrong. I wanted to be Alec, but I think it's Chad. <laughs> Let's lock in Chad as having the real item. Uh, before we reveal who has the real item, audience, we need to see how you voted. So let's see those percentages. Who do you think has the real item here? Do you think it's Alex? Do you think it's Chad? Do you think it's Kai? Uh, and they think, oh, barely went Alec by 2%. Yeah. 
Uh, see, I think the baby threw them all off, Kai, of this plaque. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real thing. Thing. Well, it's a real thing. I don't know what to tell them. It's a real thing. Don't throw babies. She knows everything thing. in babies, okay? <laughs> it's not it's a, a real thing. The plaque exists. <laughs> all right. So the audience has gone for Alec. Jack has gone for Chad. And rather than me say who has the real item, I'm going to count down from three and then say reveal. And uh, the real item will be shown. So let's see the real item in three, two, one, reveal. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> it in. Yeah, there it is. It's got boobs. It's got. That's not what oh, I pictured. My God. <laughs> How is that a That's not what I pictured. Also, are those the cups? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, like, 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 That's a, 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 a hat rack, it. maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we put coats I don't on. care anymore. It's not I don't like care anymore. Right. <laughs> we, we put, put coats, coats on, on it. it. He's yelling. He's you can, but it's made for the form of a coat. Yeah, a person. My favorite. My favorite part of that questioning was when he asked how it was made. And you're like, I don't know. They just shaped it in there, and like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's metal. <laughs> Which sounded is, so much like a lie, yet clearly it explains. It like, clearly was there correct. It is, yeah. <laughs> like, oh man, I just rewatched the the the, uh, the Alex showing it, and something's creepy about Alec going like this under the yeah, <laughs> under yes. the breasts to show. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, All right, there it is. Room so for one of those coat. Answers. Oh, it means I'm that sorry, the receivers you. get one point and the audience gets one point. So uh, that so currently means it is those names, or, or, or is he pulling those out of your ass? Yeah, dude, dude I had a big old on. poster pulled up on my second monitor, but I couldn't yeah, read the executive he producer. <laughs> you, See, that's, you that's like cheating, it. though. Come on, he's like he had the poster yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean he's cheating? So is asking the name from, from it. I should get half a point, for Jack. That. Jack, I'll give you half a point. You I'll get half you. a point, but I don't even know if they have the ability to do that. But I'm just that's all right. That's fine. Point five. Who knows? All right, point five. Uh, because that will make it really interesting as we go into the. Ah, hey. nice. There we go. All right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. The first decimal in <laughs> jump history. <laughs> that's gonna make that's gonna make the last game it's very very here, interesting guys. here. Uh, because Jack could get a point here and the audience could not, and then that would throw Jack into the lead. Uh, as we go into hey. our final game, which is called Out of Context. In this game, I will present Jack with a social media post from one of our three deceivers. All three of them are going to be acting like they are the ones who made the post. Jack, you'll only get 45 seconds to question each of them uh, about the context of this social media post, why they made it, and, and different things like that. So try to keep your answers a little short, and Jack will try to keep his questions a little short to get as much into those 45 seconds as we can. Audience, you're voting on who made the real social media post. Let's see the post in question. And the post simply says, there's a spicy place in hell for people like me. Hashtag so spicy. There's a spicy Hashtag place in hell so for spicy. people like me. Hashtag so, so, so spicy. spicy. Oh, so spicy. Uh, Jack, who would you like to question first? Um, let's, let's go ahead and start with Kai. Everyone else has got to go first. So why not? There we go. Uh, all right. So you get 45 seconds to question Kai about this social media post. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Kai, why is there a spicy place in hell for you? Uh, cause I made people try peppers at one of my school's culture fairs. Uh, when, when, how long ago was this? High school. High school. So that was yeah. how long ago was this? <laughs> I don't was, know. Your age. <laughs> it was my Last junior year. year because no, it was my years, junior year. Years, junior year was 2013. Oh, I forgot I just there was a timer. Years ago? Okay, just to give you more information, it was Spanish. I was saying Spanish. We did a culture fair. It was a Spanish culture fair. And for mine, you know, we were in the food section, so we were giving out peppers to try while giving facts on peppers that, you know, Spanish So why are you going to hell for that? Because it's spicy. I made people try peppers. It was not a fun experience. We had to have milk on the side and ready for them. Oh, Kai. Jack with those numbers again. <laughs> God, 
Kai, Twitter didn't exist eight years ago. You know that, right? 2013 didn't exist eight years ago. This is not math Don't class. Can we move on? Don't worry about it. Don't <laughs> yeah. worry about it. All right, Kai. This is not math class. All right, Jack, who do you want to go to next? Let's go over to Alec. Going okay. over to Alec. For oh, gosh. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Alec, why is there a spicy place in hell for someone like you? Because I love pumpkin. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, could you explain further what that means? See, during the season of fall, there's these things called pumpkin spice, like everything. And yes, I just, that's true. I, oh my god. So it's hashtag so spicy? Well, why didn't you mention the pumpkin hashtag part of that so at all? I why guess didn't I say forgot hash... the pumpkin part. Just... Also, why, why is there hell for, why was there hell for spicy pumpkins? It's generally frowned upon to like pumpkin spice stuff so much. Hmm. I, I guess I forgot the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that is the quote we have from Alec here. I just flip the mind. A bit pumpkin spice. Oh, it is all right. <laughs> Enough. Uh, all right. So, They're delicious. Ja <laughs> that leaves Chad. <laughs> um, hashtag so spicy. 45 oh seconds to question chat about this social media post. Ready, get set, go. All right, Chad. What, why is there a spicy place in hell for people like you? Uh, because of the Caden spicy segment on Extra Life. Oh, really? So is so it, when, when did this take place? This would have been when I made this tweet. This would have been, what, two years ago? Was that the first year we did it? Yeah. Time has no meaning anymore because of the pandemic. I'm sorry. That is true. Um, and so, so what, the context of this was, was Caden's show? Uh, no, so it was for the Extra Life segment where we were going to have her eat a bunch of spicy stuff and other people were going to do it too. I think it was also Josh Jones. Um, and so I had, I tweeted out a picture where I had a bunch of hot sauces and death nuts and a one chip challenge. And that's, so the picture is attached to this tweet? Yes. Okay. And I, and I will say, Jack, that that is a, that is a thing. There could be a picture attached to this tweet okay. that we are not showing. Uh, I'm assuming right, you, so you won't tell is... me whether or not there is one, right? Uh, I'm not going to tell you whether or not there is one. There might okay. be one. That's there okay. might not be one. Jeremy really thought about that, and he was like, no, nah, I gave you half a point. I'm not helping you anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you already got a half a point in there. Uh, all right. So, Jack, that is all of your context. Audience, last chance to change your answers for game number three. Best of luck to you. Jack, how are you feeling after the uh, questioning here? Man, ag again, I think it's going to be between Chad and Alec. Kai, I love you, but I don't I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> and then but the, the whole crazy. thing with Alec and his whole his his pumpkin spice. Why would you not mention pumpkin spice? And also, why would that send you to hell? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> These are all great questions. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all <laughs> to me. So uh, I'm, yeah, I think I'm, I'm leaning. I'm leaning now, towards I, I don't Mr. have Chad. a good answer for you. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. All right. Uh, so audience, you are now locked in for game number three and for this show. Best of luck to you here, uh, and we'll see if you can get out of this one without being the chump. Uh, on to you, Jack. So we need a final answer from you. Which of these three made the so spicy post? I'm going to go with Chad. I'm going to go with Chad. Lock it in. I want to lock that in. Let's lock in Chad as hashtag so spicy. Um, hashtag so, so before, spicy. Before we reveal who made the social media post and show the post in question with picture, um, Audience, let's see what you said. Oh, oh no. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a huge one what? there. 75% uh, have gone I can't for like Chad. Pumpkin? Oh, my God. 15% right. for Kai and 10% for pumpkin. pumpkin Boy. For the Pumpkin Boy up there. No. Um, and, uh, you know, I, w I would love to say who did this, but we could just show the tweet, I think. Uh, okay. So, oh, no. Nick, let's show the tweet with attached photograph, if we can. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> you didn't 
say pumpkin at all. Yeah. He I didn't. Did it. No. He That's did. why it was so confusing yeah. to us. Dude. He said the first Jack thing he said was because I really love pumpkin. That was the first thing Alex yeah, said. I know first. He didn't he even said. say yeah. pumpkin spice. <laughs> didn't say pumpkin, pumpkin spice. He said because I really love pumpkin. I'm, really, <laughs> I'm just Jack. I Alex, feel for you. I feel for you. Yeah. yeah. Alex had some oh. weird stuff that was really hard to lock down. So. <laughs> it was. Yeah, Alec is like having him on the show. It's like you I'm have like, like you put truth. Chump in a game shark or something. It's like having a game <laughs> code on. I, mean, you have, I just love how every Alec single time team. Alec was telling the truth, no one believed him. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> believe telling the truth the whole time. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, we said if uh, if Alec had gotten his own prompt in uh, pushing the envelope, oh, yeah, he never would have lied. Yeah, <laughs> he would have told you the whole time, and still no one can believe this man. Uh, so oh, that 10%, means guys, guys come on. Points. Go to deceivers, get two points uh, for fooling both the contestant and the audience. Uh, meaning that deceivers end the game with four points. The audience ends the game with one point, but that means uh, with a total of 0.5 <laughs> points. Uh, for the penultimate episode of Trump, Jack, you are going to meet tonight's Trump. There it is. Oh. Uh, we did give you the half point for for Chad googling. So it wasn't the it wasn't the first half point there. in all of Chump. The first I'll half point it. in all of Chump. All of Chump. I'll take uh, it. And hey, I googled but, it beforehand. Yeah. I didn't Google it when you asked me, so it was already up. <laughs> you were looking at the poster. <laughs> Chad, you're looking going. at the thing you claimed you have, and you say, oh, "I don't have it," but you're looking at it. Well, you made me I look thought... at it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the whole point, I Chad. Thought, I, I, I asked I Sam Chad a question was about Fifty Shades of Grey. I asked him who was in it, and he hadn't seen the movie. He had to make up stuff. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, Cole did. Yeah, uh, poor Cole. Or Cole, uh, or was Cole? Right. I forget whoever it was. Cole, yeah, Cole had to make up the Fifty Shades <laughs> thing. <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> anyway, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much to Jack, Alec, Chad, and Kai, and of course you, the audience, watching along. Thanks for playing so many games with us, and we will of course see you next week for another episode of Chump, featuring the same deceivers from the first episode of Chump. We're bringing Aww. back that entire deceiving team uh, to close out the series. So uh, we're gonna go film the post show. If you're a first member, make sure to watch that so you can hear the true stories that you didn't get to hear. Have a great week, everyone. See you next Bye. time. Thanks for watching, everyone. And make sure to let us know in the comments down below who managed to fool you this episode. A reminder, next week is our final episode, so we look forward to seeing you there. More lies, more truths, and more good times. Have a good one. See you later.